<sighs> I love the smell of Tula ammo in the morning. Hello, 45 Elva Charlie Papa channel, and as you can see from the intro, we finally got out to shoot the high point with the bullpup stock on it from High Tower Armory. And what a difference this makes in this gun. Um, game changer. That's all I can say. Game changer. Two words. Um, I've been kind of teasing this for the last couple weeks on the channel and then on some forums, forums that I'm on on Facebook. And uh, one of the remarks I get with, you know, they like the looks of it, it, it looks nice, um, is the price of the stock system. Um, if you want one of these, you've got to go to Hightower Armory's website. You need to get on their waiting list. Got to get on their mailer and their waiting list so that they can send you the link so that you can purchase these. They're doing it as a first come, first serve. These are new to the market. Um, they're just trying to uh, keep up with demand on these right now. But they do run $250. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, now settle down, Mr. Smiles. I'm getting to that. Um, and a lot of people are complaining about, the, I'm not going to spend $250 on a rifle I spent $250 on. Just for a stock. And if this was just a stock, um, I would agree. But it's more than that. It's a bullpup system. But these same people are the, the same guys that wouldn't hesitate or complain about somebody putting $1,200 worth of accessories on their 1022. You know, those accessories enhance the rifle, right? Yes, Mr. Smiles, they do enhance that rifle. Hello? This stock enhances the high point. Um, it really takes it to another level. Um, you're already taking a rifle that is already affordable, accurate, durable, and reliable, and you're putting the high point in a business suit. Um, it is balanced. It is no longer nose heavy. Uh, your, your weight's not out here like it is on the, the standard stock. I mean, it tucks everything in nice and close, so you're, you've got very, very good control of it. It's more maneuverable um, and shorter overall. Um, it's also very ergonomic. It's not as clumsy as the high point stock is now this, in the stock configuration. Along with that, you're also adding aluminum rails, Picatinny rails, instead of that plastic weaver rail that's on the original. You relocate the charging handle to up front here. Now this one is set up for left-handed, so it is ambidextrous. You've got to use the shell deflector here if you're going to shoot it left-handed. Um, but it makes charging it so much easier. I've got so much more leverage and control here than I do up here. So it, it really changes the uh, the operation of charging it the trigger it's still a high point trigger but it is adjustable there are some adjustments in here because the, the trigger itself sits in here but they've moved all the controls up here on it so they've got some adjustability to it and you can probably make it a little bit better than the stock high point trigger with that that adjustability that's in there um, you also like I said it is ambidextrous so you can shoot it right hand and left handers can enjoy a Man. bull pop. Um, there's a couple little changes that I would make to it. Um, first of all, this, this rail is nice, but if you're buying one of these, realize that you are going to need to buy some kind of a red dot or a scope or sights for it because the stock sights on the high point do not just bolt off and bolt on to this. You can probably get it to make it work, um, but it's going to take a little bit of ingenuity, 
um, a little bit of modification to get the stock sight to fit this rifle. The other thing, problem I have, or what I thought it was, it worried me was these 20 round mags. It has to do with the magazine well here. Now this magazine well is, is pretty good sized. Uh, part of that is the original trigger mechanism for the high point sits right in here. Um, the other part of this is, is that they don't just make this for the 9mm like the ATI stock. They make these for the 380, for the 9mm, for the 40 Smith & Wesson, for the 10mm, and the 45 ACP. So this kind of remains the same here. I'm sure it's probably an insert and a stamp on it that, that changes what uh, caliper that you happen to be using. But when you order them, you need to order it for whatever caliber or high point that you have. Uh, my main thing on this was, you know, the 10 round magazines fit in there nice. They, they've got a little bit of a tail there, um, but I don't have, you know, and that's, you know, if you go to eject them so you can grab them if need be, uh, most of the time they just drop free. On these 20 rounders, now let's take a look at this 20 round mag because I got a lot of questions on these. These are a 20 round single stock or single stack magazine uh, by Redball. High Point sells these on their website. They are the only magazine, high capacity magazine, that is um, endorsed by High Point. And a lot of people look at it, it's just kind of janky. It's kind of got a weird angle to it. Well, part of that weird angle is for feeding. When you put 20 rounds of 9mm together, 20 mil, or 9mm is a tapered cartridge. So you're going to have, when you get them all together, you're going to have a little natural curve there. And this mimics that. The other part um, that I get questions on is this piece here. And a lot of people think that this piece here is holding these two pieces together. And that could be further from the truth. Uh, this is all kind of one, one piece. I think this kind of covers maybe some gaps in the steel. But uh, the main reason for this is for the original stock. I'm grabbing a, a, the old stock here. But when I put this in the original stock, it, if you can see, it falls in, inside that stock and gives me a little bit additional support um, for this 20 round mag sticking out here. Um, it, uh, you got your locking point up here and then you got a little bit of extra support around the handle here. Now these came out about two years ago so it's not that High Point or, or High Tower Armory didn't know about them and couldn't have maybe changed the design a little bit for it. Uh, but when you stick these in if you notice it doesn't go into the mag well now there you know there's a little bit of play there but uh, you know they do fit in uh, but you don't get that additional point of contact here to stable to make the uh, them stable I will have be happy to not to tell you though that we ran four full 20 round mags through this no issues uh, so they work. They work well in in the platform. And we had zero issues uh, with this gun. And it's a brand new high point out of the box. We didn't even shoot it before we dropped it in this stock. So reliability is still there. It's great. Um, but that's just something that I would change uh, on. I may have changed on it. Just give you that little extra point of contact for the 20 round mags that are known to work in the high point safety wise you still have your safety on the other side here now you notice you don't have your port here for your charging handle that's because it got moved up here um, but you've got your safety here for the, your standard safety for the high point however they did add two additional safeties to this carbine and uh, let's take a little closer look at those. All right, let's take a look at the control group uh, right here and those two additional safeties that I was talking about. The first one is right here and it is just a trigger safety. Um, articulates back and forth, um, keeps the, if that's off, they're safe. Um, it doesn't, does the trigger does not pull, pull back when it's in safe. So it just stops the trigger from moving backwards. Um, real easy to get to. You don't have to take your grip off the, off the gun it's easy to apply and take off. Now the other one in here is this uh, face safety that you've got on here. Kind of like the dingus on a Glock 
Um, they kind of use this as a drop safety on pistols, but you've got to put your finger on the face of that trigger before that trigger will move back. If it's not, that trigger won't move back. So it's kind of a passive safety. You really don't realize it's there, but it is there. Um, easy to manipulate. The other um, nice thing is all the stuff's right here. I mean, right here with your finger. To eject the magazine, all you do is push forward. You're already putting your finger forward when you take your finger off the trigger anyway. This gives you that, that additional magazine release right here. So it works really slick. Uh, but very ergonomic, very well thought out. I'm sure these safeties were put on there due to uh, insurance reasons and lawyers. But uh, very well thought out. Um, doesn't affect the operation of uh, the rifle at all. In fact, I think it enhances it a little bit if you like to use the safeties. If you don't, you don't have to, don't have to use it. But uh, that is the, the trigger group and the control group right up front here. Um, very well thought out. All right, overall, this is a stock system. It's not just a stock for the high point. It makes it better. It improves on what was already there. It is, I really like it. I, I like it a lot. Um, you do have some choice of colors here. Um, they make this, uh, and this is the Arctic Gray. He was kind of going for a Stormtrooper look. Uh, but they do make it in a Desert Tan, a Flat Dark Earth, an OD Green, and all black. So you've got a little bit of choice there uh, as to what color you want the stock to be. Uh, very well executed. It's, it's well put together. Um, you don't have any sharp edges along the seams here. Uh, it's, uh, it feels good it feels solid it doesn't feel uh, janky or, or flimsy uh, they do have and something I forgot to add they added M lock slots here and here and that's on both sides so that if you wanted to you could add your flashlight up here you can put your angled foregrip up here add a flashlight or a laser or some kind of accessory on the rail here you can change your sling point if you want to put an m-lock sling uh, adapter in here in here you can you you've got all kinds of uh, abilities to customize this um, there, there's just some options out there that you don't get in the original um, stock do I think it's worth a hundred two hundred fifty bucks yeah it's worth every penny of that two hundred fifty dollars now I hope they sell lots of them. I hope they can pay for you know the all the money it took to help develop this um, and to to make it as good as they did. Um, you know maybe in another year or two, those prices might come down to two hundred or one hundred and seventy five or so. Uh, once they get caught up with production, once they pay off those costs, initial startup costs of, of being able to make this. Um, and I hope they do. I think it's a great option for the high point and this is q man's rifle he bought this um and he's really enjoying it if i'm going to buy a high point and i've been looking at them i think i'm going to get this stock for it I, I don't see any reason why not to it improves it it makes it a much better carbine than it is than the high point is out of the box and it the one out of the box is already pretty decent it looks a whole lot better it looks the part. I mean, I said it's in a business suit. Oh man, it's just ergonomic. It it feels great. It shoots great. The recoil is minimal. Um, you've got all that weight sitting here and sitting out here. Um, you know, you're not feeling all that all that movement like you do in in the original stock. It's just very very well done, and I'm very happy with his purchase of this. We had one little issue. I I wanted to let you know. Um, make sure that when you put this together, um, this piece slides down. Get that here. Take it apart. It's easy to take apart to clean, unlike the uh, original stock. So that's nice. But this comes down, and then this slides off to uh, to take it apart. You've got a couple little gates on this side. That's where your pins are, your cross pins, and then everything comes apart. What happened is that I didn't get this slide all the way forward when I originally put it together and it's a an error in my part not in the in the part of the stock um, when that when this came forward this piece slid forward about a quarter of an inch it didn't affect um, the rifle at all for firing anything I was surprised um, 
but everything fits so tight on it out of the box. So just want to let you know that it make sure when you put this together, let's go ahead and pull that back, get that up in there, and make sure that this piece goes all the way forward and not just halfway. Um, we put another over 60 rounds through it after that one little issue. No issues after that. So just something to be aware of when you're putting it together. Make sure that, that this piece gets pushed all the way forward. But other than that, um, I like it. It is great. Um, it, it is something that uh, the high point needed. But this is 45 Alpha Charlie Papa. And I am out. Now let's take this back to the range and watch him shoot it left hand. Please subscribe!